Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the financial pitfalls that can keep the middle class from achieving true wealth. These are the mistakes I see people making every single day, and they can be incredibly costly in the long run. But don't worry, I'm also going to show you exactly how to avoid them. We'll be covering everything from investing mistakes to career traps and everything in between. The good news is, by understanding these pitfalls, you can start making smarter decisions with your money today and set yourself up for a more secure financial future. So, whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or you're already well on your way, this video is for you. Stick around to learn how to avoid these common money traps and secure your financial future. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making is investing in things they don't understand. They blindly put their money into a 401k or IRA because that's what they've been told to do, but have absolutely no clue what those accounts actually hold. Look, I get it. Investing can seem complicated and intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. There are tons of resources available to help you learn the basics from books and articles to YouTube videos and online courses. Take index funds, for example. They're like a basket of stocks that track a specific market index like the S&P 500. When you invest in an index fund, you're essentially buying a tiny piece of all the companies in that index, which can help to diversify your portfolio and reduce your risk. And the best part? Index funds are incredibly low cost and easy to invest in. You can open an account with a brokerage like Vanguard or Fidelity and start investing with as little as a few dollars. The key takeaway here is this. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If you don't understand something, ask your financial advisor, a trusted friend, or even just Google it. The more you learn about investing, the more confident you'll become in making decisions about your financial future. Because let's be real, retirement might seem far off, but it's going to be here before you know it. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Graham, what about all those people who make a killing by day trading or picking individual stocks? And yeah, sure, there are a handful of people who manage to beat the market consistently, but they are the exception, not the rule. The vast majority of day traders actually lose money. In fact, studies have shown that around 95% of day traders lose money in the long run. Why? Because trying to time the market is incredibly difficult, even for professional investors. Think of it like this. Every time you buy or sell a stock, you're essentially making a bet that you know more than everyone else in the market. You're betting that you can predict which way the stock price is going to go, and that's a tough bet to win consistently. Instead of trying to beat the market, focus on matching it. Invest in low-cost index funds that track the overall market, like the S&P 500 or the total stock market. This way, you're not trying to pick winners and losers, you're simply riding the wave of the overall market growth. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about slow and steady growth over time, not trying to get rich quick. Here's a hard truth. The more money you make, the more the government wants to take. But here's the good news. There are legal and ethical ways to reduce your tax burden and keep more of your hard-earned money in your own pocket. One of the best ways to do this is through tax-advantaged accounts like 401 Ks and Roth IRAs. When you contribute to these accounts, you're essentially reducing your taxable income for the year, which can lead to significant tax savings over time. Another powerful tool for tax planning is real estate investing. Rental properties, for example, come with a variety of tax deductions, including depreciation, mortgage interest, and property taxes. And let's not forget about business ownership. Starting and running your own business can open up a whole new world of tax deductions and strategies. The key here is to be proactive. Don't wait until tax season to start thinking about your taxes. Instead, work with a qualified tax advisor who can help you develop a personalized tax plan that minimizes your tax liability and maximizes your wealth. Unwillingness to make lifestyle changes. Let's face it, getting ahead financially often requires making some sacrifices. But I'm not talking about living like a monk and giving up everything you enjoy. I'm talking about being willing to make small, strategic changes to your lifestyle that can have a big impact on your finances over time. For example, housing is typically one of the biggest expenses for most people. If you're serious about building wealth, you might need to consider downsizing to a smaller home or moving to a more affordable area. And hey, if you're not quite ready to give up your current place, why not consider getting a roommate? Splitting your rent and utilities with someone else can free up a significant amount of cash flow each month that you can then invest or use to pay down debt. Remember, it's all about finding a balance that works for you. You don't have to live a life of deprivation, but you do need to be mindful of your spending and be willing to make adjustments where necessary. 
not buying a house. Now I know this one might be a bit controversial, but hear me out. For most people, buying a house is one of the biggest financial decisions they'll ever make. And while it's not right for everyone, I truly believe that homeownership is one of the best paths to building long-term wealth. Think about it. When you rent, you're essentially throwing your money away every month. That money is going straight into your landlord's pocket, and you're not building any equity or ownership in your home. But when you buy a house, you're making an investment. Every mortgage payment you make is building equity in an asset that will likely appreciate in value over time. Plus, you get the tax benefits of deducting your mortgage interest and property taxes. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and buy the biggest, most expensive house you can afford. In fact, I often advise people to buy less house than they qualify for. The key is to find a property that fits your budget and your lifestyle and to view it as a long-term investment. Being too risk averse. When it comes to building wealth, playing it safe can actually be riskier than taking calculated risks. Now I'm not saying you should go out and gamble all your money on risky investments, but what I am saying is that avoiding risk altogether can prevent you from achieving your financial goals. Think about it. Keeping all your money in a savings account might feel safe, but with inflation, your money is actually losing purchasing power over time. On the other hand, investing in assets like stocks or real estate does come with some risk, but it also has the potential for much higher returns. The key is to find a balance between risk and reward that you're comfortable with. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and explore different investment options. Remember, the biggest risk is not taking any risk at all. It's easy to fall into the trap of rewarding ourselves with material possessions, especially after a long week of hard work. But before you click buy on that new gadget or designer handbag, ask yourself, do I really need this? Or am I just trying to fill a void? Impulse purchases can wreak havoc on your finances, especially if they become a regular habit. Those small purchases can add up quickly and sabotage your financial goals. Instead of indulging in material rewards, focus on finding joy and fulfillment in experiences and relationships. Spend quality time with loved ones, pursue hobbies that bring you happiness, or invest in your personal growth. Remember, true wealth isn't about how much stuff you have. It's about living a life of purpose and fulfillment. Claiming money doesn't matter. Let's be real, money isn't everything, but it does play a significant role in our lives. It provides security, opportunity, and freedom. It allows us to pursue our passions, provide for our loved ones, and make a difference in the world. Pretending that money doesn't matter is not only naive, but also disempowering. When you have a healthy relationship with money, you can use it as a tool to create the life you want. Instead of shying away from money conversations, embrace them. Learn about personal finance, invest in your financial education, and make informed decisions about your money. Remember, money is a resource, and like any resource, it's up to you to manage it wisely and use it to create a life you love. Staying in the wrong career. We spend a significant portion of our lives at work, so it's crucial to find a career that is both financially and personally rewarding. Staying in a job that makes you miserable, even if it pays well, can have a detrimental impact on your overall well-being. If you dread going to work every day, it might be time to consider a career change. Explore different industries, identify your passions, and don't be afraid to take a leap of faith. Remember, your career is not set in stone. It's okay to make a change if you're not fulfilled or if you're not reaching your full potential. And who knows? You might even discover a hidden talent or passion that you never knew you had. Believing these tips won't work for you. One of the biggest obstacles to achieving financial success is self-doubt. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that these tips and strategies only work for other people, not for you. But that's simply not true. The truth is, anyone can achieve financial freedom, regardless of their income level or starting point. It all comes down to making a conscious decision to take control of your finances and making small, consistent changes over time. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results overnight. Building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. Just focus on making progress, one step at a time, and celebrate your successes along the way. Remember, the only person who can hold you back is yourself. Believe in your ability to create a better financial future for yourself, and don't give up on your dreams. Avoid these middle-class money traps. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future tips on achieving financial freedom. Remember, the first step to overcoming these money traps is awareness.
Now that you know what to look out for, you can start making more informed decisions with your money. Let us know in the comments which money trap you're going to avoid first.